Hi, my name is Bob Price. I've lived in Richmond for about 35 years and I've been growing roses throughout that whole time, right here in this garden. Um, I love my roses. I'm a member of the Vancouver Rose Society and in fact I'm the past president of the Vancouver Rose Society. I have been doing the show, the horticultural show, for about 25 years. It's, uh, it's kind of a nice easy show to do. It's not too far from home. Flowers get there easy. You're kind of in and out and can leave them all day. The best way to, if you don't want to get into rose gardening, would be to go to join a, a rose club or a gardening club and go around and look at the different roses that people have in their gardens and see how well they grow and see what excites you. Go see what you like, that's the key part, and then pick what you like and put them in the ground and just try things. Remember growing roses is nothing too scientific. You're still at the whims of mother nature. So try and see what roses grow in the areas and what you like of those particular roses. When you're going to cut a rose, go down to the, the a leaf petal, just above the leaf. Now, what you're looking for is something called a forcing bud. In other words, it's a swelling on the inside of that flower petal. And that's where you would cut that bloom, right there. So close to the petal, so it's still there. And then take that back to your bucket of water. Have your bucket of water handy nearby. Now, the water, if you were to feel it, is warm. So it should be a fairly warm water. Not cold, not hot, but just warm. Take the rose, cut it underwater, and leave it there. At that point, if you're gonna put these in a show, or you're gonna have them for, in your own house, or you're gonna give them away, take the petals off and put them back in the water, and it, there it would stay for at least two hours if you're going to be doing you know, put them in your own vase at home, or if you're going to give them away, whatever you're going to do. If it's a rose show, I would want that in overnight, so it has lots of water. Fill them right up to the head of the flower if you can. 